Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video and today we are talking Arc Tempered Lunastra. The quest went live this morning and it runs up until the 19th of October so you basically have two weeks to fight Arc Tempered Lunastra if you so wish. And of course, as is always the case, with a new Arc Tempered Monster comes a Gamma Armor Set. And since the Lunastra Armor Set in the past has actually been quite good for points in wide range and also just slots, then of course the Gamma set should hopefully provide some useful alternatives. So in this video, as I always do when a new Arc Temple monster comes out, or any time a new monster comes out that is, we're going to take a look at the armor. So if you do enjoy this, you do find it helpful, then a like would be super appreciated. Be sure to comment down below, let me know what you guys think. And also if you guys are watching this video as it's gone live, then we're currently live streaming over on Twitch. 269 and Paradise Central are both streaming. You can find a link to the multi-stream down below. We're going to be doing some Arc Tempered Lunastra hunts. I'll be there for a little while recording some gameplay and then of course it'll give you guys a chance to jump in if you want to do this as well. But for the time being, let's turn our attention to the armor. If you want to get this yourself, you'll of course need to go to the event quest and select the quest When Blue Dust Surpasses Red Lust. This is of course Arc Tempered Lunastra and yes, as is to be expected, she is still a royal paint. But if you do complete this and you do get the tickets needed, you're going to craft the Gamma Armor Set. So in terms of appearance, it is basically the Alpha Set, but of course it's a little bit more glowy, so that's kind of cool. But on the skill front, this is what we're working with. You of course have the two-piece and the four-piece Lunastra Set bonuses. First one being Stamina Cap Up, so that you can increase your Stamina Cap. And you also have Mind's Eye Ballistics to prevent attacks from being deflected and also to shorten the distance before ammo and arrows reach maximum power. So they are of course still present on the Gamma set. You then have level 4 earplugs which will of course nullify weak monster roars and reduce the effects of strong monster roars and that's of course one point away from max earplugs. So if you do want to run this and you are somebody that likes to use earplugs then this isn't going to be too far off of course completing that. You have Agitator level 3, which while active will grant you plus 12 attack and increase your affinity by 9%. Of course, that's when monsters are enraged, so that's pretty handy. It's quite a nice damage focused skill. So you can of course then stack that on top of the other options that are available. You can then skip past guard 3 because that's just on my charm, but then you have wide range level 2 to of course make it so that your items affect your nearby allies. But level 2 only gives you 33% efficacy, so it's a little way off, of course, maxing that out. The default alpha set has level 4, so you will of course need to run some gems in this if you do want to turn it into a full wide range set. But again, that is your option. You then have evade window level 2 to slightly increase your invulnerability window. You have health boost level 2, giving you that plus 30 attack. And of course, if you wanted to push that all the way up to plus 50, then you'd only need one level 1 jewel. And you then have peak performance level 1 for a bonus 5 attack when your health is full. Tool specialist level 1, which shortens the time on your boosters and your mantles recharging by 5%. In truth, I don't really find this skill that useful. I even did a test a while back with max tool specialist and the returns you get aren't really that valuable to the point I wouldn't necessarily gem in or warrant using this skill. And then finally you have evade extender for a slight increase to your evasion distance. So all up, it does have some pretty nice skills. It's basically dropped the blast and a few other skills from the previous set and focus slightly more so on earplugs, adding in some damage options, and of course, giving you a few other things to play with. But gamma sets aren't just about the skills, they are also about the slots. So the helmet, this one has three level one slots and it also carries two points in wide range and one point in peak performance. So that in itself could be quite nice. Those are definitely useful skills to have. You then have the chest piece, which is quite interesting because it has a nice level 3 slot, which is of course going to give you plenty of options to play with. Plus, it has two points in earplugs and one point in tool specialist. And while yes, tool specialist is kind of a throwaway skill, the points in earplugs, for those of you guys that do enjoy using it, could actually go down quite well. Pair that with a charm and you're not going to have too far to go and max that out. Then on the gloves, you have a level 3 slot and a level 1 slot with agitator and evade extender. On the waist, you have another level 3 slot with two points in evade window, two points in health boost. And the legs, another level 3 slot with the other two points in earplugs and one point in agitator. So again, if you were going for an earplugs focused build, then you could actually take two of these pieces, also net yourself an Lunastra set bonus in the process, and you'd then have a few slots to play with, and of course also other options for other armor pieces. So, all around, it's actually not too bad. The Lunastra armor in the past has of course had some utility in previous mix sets for the points in wide range and the slots. So the Gamma Armor set basically builds on that. But for the time being, that is pretty much it. That's what you need to know. I will be uploading some gameplay later on of a hunt that we all recorded together on 269 Paradise's streams. If you guys do want to check that out, then you can do so. But for the time being, that's it from me. Be sure to keep it locked for much more Monster Hunter coverage. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arax Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream 
in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.